toey. It might be more kind of slushy and just as long as the runway is clear and the visibility is somewhat decent, hopefully I can get on, but vamos a ver. Okay, can you see my screen? Yep. Okay, vamos a comenzar, lección cuatro. Um, so hoy vamos a repasar, that means we're gonna review. Okay. Presentarnos, how to introduce ourselves to each other. We'll talk about things that we like. We'll talk about the difference between masculine and feminine words. Today's where it really gets fun. Today's where we start working with the ver verbs and therefore become conversational. Um, we'll also learn how to order food in Spanish. So you can start doing that at your favorite Mexican restaurant. Uh, and we'll talk about Mexican food a lot today. And we've got a reading activity about Mexico. Okay, um, any questions about the practice between classes? Are you able to keep up with the Quizlet and the, the language school app? Yeah, I mean, the, the one for this lesson is incredibly long, but yes, it is. I, the one um, for lesson three? Four. For lesson four, yeah. The good news is I think going after lesson four, it starts getting a little bit better. It's, it's okay. I was like, the amount of times I wrote me gusta <laughs> was incredible. <Yeah. laughs> I was like, okay, I can. The I problem know. is, you just you have to get started, you know. So initially, you just get bombarded with with new vocabulary. But going going forward after today's lesson, the the vocab becomes a little bit less intensive. Well, that's good. Okay, vamos a comenzar. So, um, Emily, hola, qué tal? Ah, uh, todo bien, or let's see, what could I say? Yeah, that's, that's, that's good, todo bien, that's perfect. Oh, yeah. I, I wasn't even looking at it, I was trying to think of them, okay, yes. <laughs> Take your conversation to the next level, it's also a good idea uh, to start responding with itu, which is like saying, what about you, right? Okay. So you can ask me now, uh, itu. Okay. Itu, todo bien, itu. Sí, excelente. All right, so now Emily to Brandon. Hola, Brandon, como estas? Okay. Uh, que tal, que tal. Oh, sorry, que tal. <laughs> in my own head half the time. It's the, it's the same thing, but just to practice this new greeting. Uh, muy bien, you Ah, tranquilo. Ooh, okay. All right, now Brandon to me. Hey, David, hola, que tal? <laughs> Todo bien, y tú? Oh, muy bien. Está uh, excelente. Wow, excelente. All right, I want you two to practice with each other. I'm just throwing in a couple of other options of ways to respond to this. So we originally learned si, por supuesto. You could also say claro or si me parece bien. What is claro? Claro is again like saying, of course. It, it means like clearly, like obviously, clearly. Mm -hmm. right? clearly. Claro. All right, I guess I should have said como se dice. Or, or que significa. Que significa would be the better. Oh, you're right. Que significa would have been better. Okay. All right. Um, me llamo Emily. Estoy estudiando español. Podemos practicar? Sí, me parece bien. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Gracias. Yeah. Me llamo Brandon. Estoy estudiando español. Podemos practicar? Uh, claro. Muy bien. ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Emily. Ah. ¿Y tú? Ah, me llamo Brandon. ¿Mm? Mucho gusto. Igualmente. ¿Dónde vives? Vivo en Denver. Ah. ¿Y tú? Mismo. <laughs> I hear you could say yo también. Yo también, okay. Yo también. Yo también. Yo también. Can you significa también again? Oh. Also or two. Okay. So when you say yo también, it's like saying me too. Okay, yo también. Do you want me to ask you? Do they edit? So they are Arkansas, you too. Uh, so the Baltimore. Baltimore. It is the Arkansas, Brandon. Wow, no sabía. Yeah. Oh, fancy. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, ah, okay, te 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 dices. Dedicas. Dedicas, which is um, that means. So this is like the real official way to say what do you do for work. Yeah, that's what it's like saying what are you dedicated to. Yeah. Yeah. Typically understood as in the sense of a profession, right? Now, I think I know what I should say. So should I say, soy director gen general de juntos? De juntos. A, a, a de juntos? What are you trying to say with juntos? 
It's just what I looked up as a whole. That's what it says. It says just the assistant general manager. Okay, so if you're the assistant general manager, you just said you are the director. Um, so if you're the assistant general manager, you would say soy el soy asistente gerente general. Well, all right, I'll just say you go I with that. <laughs> That's intense. Okay. Yeah, when I looked it up, it said that's what it told me was what I told you. Yeah, I don't I don't like what it told you. <laughs> Agreed. Can you type um, it what you just said? Yeah, I was just about to say say that. Okay. Me seeing it will help. Mm -hmm. Gerente general. Just say soy gerente general to make it a little bit easier. You don't have to say the assistant the assistant part. So, gerente general, what is it again? Yeah. Gerente, so, gerente. That's like saying the general manager. Gerente oh, okay. general would be the general manager. So gerente is manager? Gerente means manager, yep. Manager. Okay. So gerente general, I think that is the easiest. General, general. Oh, right, Gen general. general. Like okay. a little hen. Yeah. So are you- let me <laughs> You are like a little hen. <laughs> Let me ask you, th this reminds me of that show, The Office. So are you the assistant I know, to right? the general manager or is that? He's like, just, the title is assistant, assistant general, general manager. manager. So are there various, I guess, general managers then that have, is it essentially the same thing as the general manager? Or? Yeah, essentially. I mean, technically Eli and I are the general managers, but we're all just kind of working together to get the car wash up and running. Okay, yeah. Just, to, I mean, you could say soy gerente general, soy gerente, soy asistente general. Just say soy gerente general. <laughs> I think I so. Like, soy gerente, I should do that too. So I'm just going to say that that's what I am too. Soy gerente general. But I used to be, let's see. Okay, let's because, try this. Okay. Because the, 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 when you start throwing in the assistant word in Spanish, you know, like it just doesn't go over, but, you know, it has more of the idea of being like an executive assistant. As oh, that's opposed to, you're more of a manager than assistant, right? Yes. Yeah, so just soy gerente general. And then like for you, Emily, because you're more of like the top boss, right? And you the would, owner. I, you would say directora. So, yeah. so like the, the top position is the director. Soy la directora. I know, right? <laughs> so, soy la directora, the, soy la directora, or you could say soy, yeah, if you wanted to say owner, soy la dueña. La dueña? Dueña means owner. E-U-E-N-A, dueña. Dueña. With a, a little whatever that That's thing is. I just, I just you, wrote it up. Oh, there. he just wrote it, doing yeah. Okay. Where'd my mouse go? Come on, Zoom. Okay. Okay. Dedicas. Okay. okay. De okay. Dedicas, right? Dedicas. Yeah. Uh, so uh, let's try that again. So Emily asked Brandon, a que te dedicas? A que te dedicas? Oh. Is it, so is it dedicas? De With dedicas. A dedicas. 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 Okay, I'll get take dedicas. Soy. Are you hen? Gerente. Gerente. That's what it's. Gerente. The, the other e is starts on Gerente. Gerente general. Gerente general. E too. Ah, uh, soy. Uh, what am I? It's not soy. De, it's just so. Yeah. Soy. Mm, what did we say? Duena. Duena? Soy la, and you, you could say soy la dueña. Soy la dueña. Soy directora. Soy la dueña. Okay, would it be la directora? In this situation, yeah, because normally you don't use the article for like a position in general. Yeah. But if you're the one and only, you know, the CEO, the director, the owner, then you would say soy la dueña, soy la directora. Got it. It is my goal to be the CEO and to have him as the general manager, and then it'll be a lot less confusing, but we'll see how everything goes. Okay, good luck with that. Right, yeah, we yeah. need all luck yeah. we can get. All right, shall I ask you? Donde trabajas? Oh, trabajo in 
What did I say in or uh? Like in. if I was gonna say at? It's trabajo Glencoe. in, just like yeah, it's okay. written. Trabajo. trabajo in. Glencoe. Oh, okay. Y tú? Oh, y tú? Oh, yeah, you too. Oh, you were supposed to eat too. Yeah, yeah. Too. <laughs> um, trabajo. Okay, I was practicing this. Trabajo. Like, you could say yo también. Oh, hey, way you easier. Also. Yo también. Oh. Then I could ask him, why did you not know that? Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so wait. So trabajo en un lavado. En auto lavado. Auto la trabajo en un auto lavado. Auto lavado. Okay. Un de cocher? What's the cocher? Somewhere there was a cocher. That sounds like French. Un okay, un auto lavado. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> there is a cocher in French. But okay, all right. I like e e e to what is it? Now yo tambien. Yo tambien. Yo. Now with um with gustar, gustar works differently than everything else. So you don't say e to. So like, for example, oh. I say, te gusta bailar, and then to make it conversational, you respond with e a t. Hmm. E -a -t. It's just completely that, different than the other. That's only with things you like. That, that with, the, with the verb gustar specifically. For now, there's other situations where we use that, but for now. E a t. E a t, e -a -t versus. So practice with this. Uh, Brandon, uh, que te gusta? Uh, so, so use the examples we have here, going in order, one, two, three, four. Oh, okay. So number one would be, te gusta bailar. Okay. Take, so we're just going through, okay, te gusta bailar. Si, me gusta. Y a ti. Uh, si, uh, wait. Mm -hmm. Si, me gusta. You like to dance? I do. Okay. Um, <laughs> Emily, te gusta <laughs> cocinar. Ah, si, me gusta cocinar. Y a ti? Oh, si, mucho gusto. Or me, me gusta mucho. It's always me after. As soon as I said, it's mucho. always after. Me gusta mucho. Uh, Brandon, te gusta jugar al oh, jugar, jugar. jugar. The J is jugar. like Nate. Jugar. What is it? Jugar. To play, like playing. Oh, so you sport. wouldn't just say, oh, okay, jugar al football. Oh, yeah, you were saying that the other day. Yeah, to toca is playing guitar, like mm. the next one instrument. Okay. Um, si, me gusta uh, y a ti. No, no me gusta. Okay. Te gusta tocar un instrumento. Instrumento. Sí, me gusta tocar un instrumento. ¿Y a ti? Oh, sí, me gusta. Uh, but you. Uh, ¿Te gusta esquiar? Sí, me gusta. ¿Y a tú? ¿Y a ti? Uh, sí, me gusta mucho oh, esquiar. Mucho. No, me gusta esquiar mucho. Sí. Okay. Te gusta viajar? Uh, oh, sí, me gusta viajar. viajar. Is I saying that right? Viajar? Sí, muy bien. Uh, ¿Y a ti? Oh, sí, me gusta mucho. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Brandon, ¿te gusta tomar vino? Sí, <laughs> me gusta. ¿Y a ti? Sí, me gusta <laughs> mucho. <coughs> uh, ¿Te gusta correr? Me gusta correr. She does it every day. I do. ¿Y a ti? Oh, sí. Me gusta. How about you? Oh, Brandon, ¿te gusta leer? Oh, sí. Me gusta. ¿Y a ti? Sí. Me gusta leer mucho. ¿Te gusta ir de compras? ¿Qué significa ir de compras? Ir de compras, to go shopping. No, no me gusta ir a te compras. ¿Y a ti? Yo también. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Again, because gustar is irregular, you can't say yo también. Uh, oh, yeah. And there's a negative form. So también is positive. The negative form would be tampoco. So for what you just wanted to say, Brandon, you would have to say a mí tampoco. A mí tampoco. And that's like saying me neither, a mi tampoco, but only with the verb gustar. Oh. If, you, if you were with a regular verb, you could have said yo tampoco, right? Yo tampoco. But because of the gustar. Because of the gustar, you have to say a mi tampoco. Okay, pretty good, very good.
And so after you meet somebody, you say adios or hasta luego or nos vemos or chao. Let's practice. So Brandon, ask Emily all three questions. Oh, oh do you like this? All right, Emily. All right, here we Pleasure go. Yourself. Te gustan mm -hmm. los refrescos? No. refrescos? no, no me gusta los refrescos. It may, it's plural, so you have to put an gusta. N on the end of gusta. gusta. No me gustan los refrescos. No, no me. Te gusta el jugo? Uh, sí, me gusta el jugo. Uh, ¿Qué prefieres tomar? Mm, how do I say this? Me prefieres... Prefiero. Prefiero, oh, that's right. Prefiero uh, el jugo. Muy bien. Take turns with these. Okay. Brandon, ¿te gusta el vino? Sí, me gusta el uh, ¿Te gusta la cerveza? Me gusta la cerveza. ¿Qué prefer prefieres beber? Prefiero cerveza. Mm, mi prefiero vino. ¿El vino? You don't want to say mi prefiero, just prefiero. Prefiero, right. Thank you. Prefiero. Gustar is irregular. That's why you say me gusta. Mm. Okay. Emily, ¿te yep. gustan los nachos? Sí, me gustan los nachos. Mm, ¿Te gustan las quesadillas? Sí, me gustan las quesadillas muchos. Mm. Well, then, ¿Qué prefieres ordenar? Oh, that's tough. Um, prefiero las quesadillas. Oh, yeah. right. You too? Oh, nachos. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking me, right? I just asked you. Oh, ¿te gustan los tacos al pastor? Sí, me gusta. Me gustan los tacos al pastor. Mm, me, no, le gusto. Oh, me, you, wait, you, don't like some, you don't like pork with some pineapple? I don't. Okay, ¿te gustan los tacos de pollo? Oh, sí. Me gustan los tacos de pollo. ¿Qué prefieres comer? Oh, prefiero el pastor. <laughs> uh, ¿Te gusta la sopa de tortilla? Sí, me gusta la sopa de, de tortilla. Okay, ¿te gusta la ensalada? Me gusta la, me gusta la ensalada. ¿Qué okay, prefieres? Prefiero la sopa de tortilla. Really? Mm -hmm, I love really good tortilla soup. Yum. Brandon, ¿te gustan las fajitas de pollo? Oh, sí. Me gustan las fajitas de pollo. ¿Te gusta la carne asada? Oh, sí. Me gusta la carne asada. ¿Qué prefieres comer? Prefiero... Mm. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Te, ¿Te gustan las enchiladas de queso? Sí, me gusta las enchiladas de queso. Okay, ¿te gusta el pescado frito? No, no me gusta el pescado frito. You don't want the eye? Mm. Okay, <laughs> prefieres or, or then, or then not. Okay. Prefiero uh, las enchiladas de queso. queso. You're making sense. <laughs> Brandon, ¿te gusta el helado? Oh, sí, me gusta el helado. ¿Te gusta en el flan? Sí, me gusta el flan. Mm, ¿Qué prefieres comer? <laughs> <laughs> Prefiero helado. Me ni gusta. No, is everybody saying that right? Me, ne, uh, do not me like. me gusta. No me gusta. No me gusta no flan. Me gusta. La flan, la flan, la, el flan. It's required test. Ugh, I do not like it. All right. So would you be, are you asking like el manzana es rojo? Uh, roja. Kind of, but it's not el manzana. It's la manzana es roja. Nice. Okay. Te gustan las manzanas, Brandon? Sí, me gustan las manzanas. Yeah. yeah. Uh, los plan, pla, plátanos son amarilla, amarillos, amarilla. Amarillos, Amarillos. you were right. Amarillos, okay. I did. I was stumbling around. And me gusta. Me ¿Te gustan gusta. los plátanos? Me, gusta, me gustan los plátanos. Plátanos. Me gustan. Los aran... Oh my gosh. Aranzanos son azules. Azul. Azules. Azules, yeah. Azules. Azul L, yes. ¿Te gustan los arándanos? It's like maybe I'm wrong. You did. Uh, I know. Sí, me gustan los arándanos. Oh my gosh. La fresa e 
Roja. S. S, you're right. S, that's right there. S Roja. La fresa. You're just pronouncing it like French, that's all. <laughs> ¿Te yeah. gustan las fresas? Sí, me gustan las fresas. Las naranjas son naranjas. Aranjado. Oh, anaranjados. That's right. Anaranjado. The actual color. Anaranjadas because it's feminine. Anaranjadas. Anaranjadas. Me gustan las naranjas. Sí, me gustan las naranjas. Uh, la lechuga es verde. Verda. Verda? Verde. Verde. Because yeah, it ends with an E, it doesn't change. Right. Verde. And the knee doesn't change. Got it. Uh, and me gusta. Me gusta la lechuga. Oh my gosh. Las <coughs> judías verdes son. Judías verdes son. Verde. Verdes. Verdes because it's plural. Okay. Me gustan las judías verdes. Sí, me gustan las verdes. Oh, judías verdes. Oh, you get a big boy word. Have fun. Get it. Uh, la zanahoria es aranjado, aranjada. Good. ¿Te gustan las zanahorias? Sí, me gustan las zanahorias. Oh, el col. Yes. So this one's la, la col. Oh, okay. That's a trick. It is a trick. La col es, and purple is. I forget purple. I, can, I always think of marron. It's something like that. No, marron is. It's Brown. close, but, but no cigar. Yeah. Like, but it begins with an M, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It's like, I was just thinking about that this morning. Okay. Como se dice purple in Espanol? Morada. Oh, morada. morada. See, okay. it was an M. Yeah. I just don't see purple enough. Well, but you should. But we should. It's green. It's green. There's yeah. purple everywhere. Morado. ¿Te gusta la col? Sí, me gusta la col. Uh, el pimiento rojo es rojo? <laughs> see, you did the same thing I did. Because it's telling you it's a red chili. <laughs> yes. ¿Te gusta el pimiento rojo? Sí, me gusta el pimiento rojo. Describe el lápiz. El lápiz es nuevo y amarillo. Describe el libro. El libro y, uh, let's see, mm, bueno y rojo. Describe la mesa. La mesa es viejo. <laughs> uh, so you'd say not viejo, it's la mesa. Ah, that's right. Vieja. La mesa vieja y marrón. Marrón. Mm. La pizarra es uh, blanca y mm, gran, grande. Would it just stay grande? Yeah. Bien. Uh, la planta es bonita. La, it's not la planta. La planta. La planta bonita y verde. Describe la silla. Ah, la silla es uh, negra y uh, marrón. Describe el marcador. El marcador. What is the word? Oh, el marcador borata, es borato y negro. Describe el bolígrafo. El, boli el bolígrafo es uh, azul y barato. Describe el teléfono. El teléfono es chico y negro. Describe la ventana. La ventana es grande, grande, grande y 
y Blanca. Muy bien. All right, the fun stuff. Um, so to, to become conversational, you have to learn how to start working with verbs in Spanish. So it's all about changing the verbs based off of who is talking or who you're talking about. So just real quick, a simple sentence. Yo como burritos means I eat burritos. If you have any troubles identifying the verb, just ask yourself what's happening. And that's it's the action that's taking place in a sentence. So yo como burritos, I eat burritos. Tú comes burritos, you eat burritos. One of the hardest parts for English speakers when it comes to learning how to speak Spanish is learning how to manipulate these verbs because we don't change our verbs in English, but in Spanish, there are a lot of possible changes. So if you look at the difference there, I eat, you eat, we don't change the actual verb, eat, it's the same verb. We just change the person. In Spanish, you have to change the person and you have to change the verb. So it's yo como, tu comes, right? You see those two different differences, two different different, two differences there. <laughs> Okay, so our subject pronouns first, say I in Spanish, you can say yo, to say you, you can say tú, yo, tú. Okay. So hey, there's a rule, question. To, I'm sorry? I have a question. Yes. Pregunta? Pregunta. Um, yeah. If you wanted to say yo, you can, but can you also just let it drop off just to say eat burritos? Like you say, so would it just- yeah. You like yeah, you're getting just a little ahead of me. I was about to explain that, but yes. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. You know, I even watched this, so okay. <laughs> Okay, so um, the AR verb, so to, to get started, uh, we're going to work with our regular verbs in Spanish. And the first and the most commonly used verb type is what we call an AR verb because it ends with the word, a, uh, the word, it ends with the letters AR. So um, desear is what's called the verb infinitive. It's the, it's the raw verb and it literally translates to want or to desire. Okay. Now, if you want to change that from saying to want to I want, the first step is you remove the AR ending and you get your base. So this is a rule that will apply to all AR verbs. So everything that comes before that AR ending is what's called the base. In this example, it would be dese, dese. So you're gonna always say dese. To say I want, you add back an O, yo deseo. To say you want, you add back an AS, tu deseas, okay? Now, what Emily was just asking about is, can I just say deseo or deseas? And the answer is yes. Because of the way these verbs change in Spanish, um, it's optional to say the subject pronoun, yo or tu. Uh, in a way, it's almost redundant. It's not officially redundant because it's 100% up to the speaker whether they say it or not. Uh, but especially for the subjects yo and tu, I and you, uh, it's not very common to use it. Um, it might be worth, you know, if it helps you kind of get into the hang of, of conjugating these initially, it might be helpful to say yo deseo, tu deseas, to help you keep it together, but it's optional. Okay, so um, we'll throw it up on a verb chart, and this is what it looks like. Desear uh, means to want. Yo deseo means I want, tu deseas means you want. Mm -hmm. So let's just practice with this model. Um, Brandon, do you want to go for ordenar? Ordeno, ordenas. Emily, tomar? Uh, tomo, tomas. Reservar? Reservaro, reservaras. So you're adding it to the end. Remember, you have to take away the AR ending. Reservo, reservas. That's it. Reservo, yeah. reservo. Uh, bailo, bailas. Cocino, cocinas. Esquio, esquias. Vijo, vijas. Uh, try that again. So it's biajo. Yeah. And this is, uh, como se dice, it's to, this travel. to, tra oh, this is to travel again. Okay. To travel, so I travel. And yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 You want to go? You want me to go? You can do the first one. Okay. Yo ordeno un burrito. Tu tomes, tu ma tomas una cerveza. 
Yo reservo, reservo una mesa para dos. To des, oh. des, 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 deseas. Deseas. Post, postra. ¿Qué significa postre? Uh, dessert. Oh, dessert. That's a good word. Postre. Okay. Tú bailas bien? Yo cocino comida mexicana. 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 Yo esquías poco? Mm, try that again. Esqui. It's not. Oh, <laughs> esquío. <laughs> poco. Tu vieja. Tu viejas mucho. Okay, good job. All right, so the next verb type is what we call uh, an ER verb. Same thing, ends with ER. So to start changing this verb, comer, which means to eat, to saying I eat, again, you remove the ER ending and you get your base, com, okay? Add back O to say I eat, yo como. Add back ES to say you eat and you get tu comes. Okay. Okay. Yep. So, comer. Let's go here, Emily. Yo como. Tu comes. Good. Yo bebo. Yo bebes. Bebo. And then again, Brandon. Yo bebo is right. Yo bebes. Two. Two bebes. Oh, I was just not. I was, I'm trying to. Me not, too. <laughs> I'm trying not to say two as much because it's not very common. And I, I know like these conjugations, I've said them a lot so much that I, I'd want to not say to and yo. Yeah, so, I will so say that, that. that's fine. If you want to, then just leave those off and you could just say bebo bebes, but okay. don't, don't say yo bebes because then that's not right. Okay, <laughs> okay. Leia. Is it Leo and Leia's? Maybe in. Yes. Leo, hmm, that's a weird word, Leo. Uh, corro, corres. Yo, uh, yo como un burrito. Bebes un cerveza. Una. Uh, leos un libro. Try that again, Emily. Was it? Oh, yo, damn it. No, I did that. Yo, leos. You're adding an S to it. It doesn't need. Oh, it. right. Yo, yo leo. leo. Sorry. Uh, corres. En el parque. Here we go. <laughs> Leas la revista. You were just waiting for it. You I... already saw, and that's what it was. Mm. Bebo jugo. Uh, Comes tacos? Corro cada día. Mm. Muy bien. Uh, ¿Qué cada. significa cada día? Cada día? Cada, cada día. día means every day. Oh, cada oh. día. Every day. Okay. You so you run every day. Oh, ha. Huh? I, I should. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Vamos a aprender cómo ordenar la comida. Let's learn how to order food. So um, when you at a restaurant, you've got some people that are important to learn. So the anfitrión or anfitriona is the host or the hostess. Uh, and then you as the diner would be the comensal. Okay. So typically you'll get greeted with something like this. Hola, ¿en qué le puedo servir? Sí. See, <laughs> we do have a so, so here's where you would respond. Can you have para dos, por favor? Okay, I was like, because that's like, how many do you can we serve? So, the the what I'm asking you here is, how can I help you? Okay, how can I help you? In que le puedo servir means, how can I help you? Okay, how can I serve good. you, or how can I help you? Okay, like, and so that's where you'd say, Mesa. Like I need a table for however many people are in the party. And so you don't have to say I need. You, you don't just... have to, it would be understood. Okay. Just like when you go into a restaurant here, hey, how can I help you a table for two, please? Okay. You, you can, if you, it depends on the formality of the place, you know, the more formal the restaurant, the more formal you should be. But in most, you know, typical, yeah. most typical dining situations at a Mexican restaurant, uh is not to be taken so formal okay because my thought would be like you know like was it this the sale you could you absolutely could the sale una mesa para dos por favor okay
Sounds good. Okay, so let's practice with this. Hola, ¿en qué les puedo servir? Mesa para dos, por favor. Muy bien. Okay. Now, if we move on over here, uh, once you're seating, sitting at the table, uh, the mesera is going to come up, so the server. Uh, and he or she is going to say something along the lines like, ¿Deseas tomar algo? What do you want to drink? Do you want to drink something? Yeah. Deseo una cerveza. Muy bien. ¿Y tú, Emily? Uh, deseo un uh, vino. Oh, sorry. It's right there. Got it. Un refresco. Muy bien. But if you want a vino, we've got una copa de vino here. You could say that. Una that's copa right. de vino. Got it. Okay. That's what I was thinking. I was like, how do I say a glass of? Okay. So, Emily, deseas una entrada? That means, do you want an appetizer? Deseas mm. una entrada? Sí. Deseo una quesadilla. ¿Y tú, Brandon? Uh, deseo los nachos. <laughs> Bien. And then, what do you want to eat today? ¿Qué deseas comer hoy? Deseo... Hmm. Deseo las enchiladas de queso. Deseo la carne asada. Me gusta queso mucho. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Muy bien. ¿Deseas postre? Oh, sí. Deseo el hel helado. ¿Y tú? Uh, 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 deseo el helado. Uh, how do you say it as well? También. También. También, just también, okay. Muy bien. ¿Es bien. todo? ¿Es that all? ¿Es todo? Sí, es todo. Uh, la cuenta, por favor. Muy bien. So there you just respond, yep, that's all. The check, please. So um, I just want to go back through this just because this is also yeah. something that you can use to start taking care of Spanish speakers at the car wash, right? Yeah, that's so, true. The same thing, imagine, Brandon, you're working the cash register or Emily. Uh, if somebody comes in, you know, and says, uh, uh, somebody speak Spanish, you know, the way they always do. Yeah. You say, si, sí, en que le puedo servir? En que le puedo servir? How can I help you, right? Que le, le puedo servir? Yeah, that's a good one, actually. Uh -huh. it happens at the, the, the XPT, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then so other things here. You know, <laughs> I remember what to say. So I can't remember exactly what what you call your different services, right? But here you just say, "Deseas un car wash." Deseas un auto lavado. Un auto lavado. Or deseas un detalle. Detalle is detail. Oh, detalle. so um, say it again. The car wash. Deseo. Un deseo. auto. Un auto lavado. Un auto lavado. Uh, how do you say like exterior or interior? That's how let we start it. Let me actually give me a second here. Oh, yeah, and I have your thing printed out. Oh, and by the way, Lauren is going to reach out to you for the ads in Spanish. Oh, cool. That would be awesome. Yeah. Um, let me go get the little printout. I left one of these with you, Brandon. Okay. Oh, you have He did this is actually really David. This is uh, <laughs> this is very good. This is I've printed out your the two things. Nice, nice, that's perfect. Yeah, so I've, I've got it here for you, right? Right, so what you were just asking about los servicios exteriores de auto lavados or los servicios de limpieza del interior del carro. It would be. Because I have at least give us the answer really quickly. Okay, you're right. I see. Right? So you could just learn how to say things like deseas. Yeah. Be because you've got everything in, in English, like on the menu or whatever. I don't know how you have it. It's like in English. In the reception, but, you know, deseas un... Um, Deseas un auto lavado del exterior y cuál deseas? El básico, el básico plus o el total? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. We got it. We're following. And so this is just how you, you know, you start yep. 
learning some of this vocabulary and you apply it to this exact same dialogue that we're doing, right? Basically with the word deseas. Do deseas. You, what do you want? Okay. Okay, servicio deseas. What service do you want? Oh, I see. So service, ser, do you... servicio, is that what you said? Servicio. Servicio. Mm -hmm. Servicio. 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 Or que tipo de auto lavado? So and that's saying that's saying car wash, right? Auto lavado is a car wash. Yeah. Oh, okay, auto lavado. And that's over here. So this so, one is solo deseo, desea, solo desea el exterior. De tu carro limpio. limpio. So do you want your car cleaned, exterior cleaned, y brillante, credo tu proximo. Brillante is a shine. Yeah, for your next proximo. Event especial, or next special. Okay. David, why does it say solo desea instead of deseas? Yeah, yeah that's my question. Uh, where, where are you at? This one. Exterior car wash. The one that's in the, because that's in the usted form. Usted. Oh, that's in like the, the two form and like the proper, like. Yeah. So, like so when I when I start my students off, I, I just like to go with the two form just because we're in a familiar situation here in the classroom. Okay. Um, and once we get into the next level, we start going into usted. For the time being, you're fine just doing this in the two form, but that is right on that. Okay. Um, you in a in a situation like this where you're providing a customer a service, you'd want to treat that like a formal situation and, and be and talk in the usted form. But yeah, more, more on that later. You don't you don't need to start with that right now. Okay. Um, but this is essentially the point that I, I needed to get to with you in order to start now customizing the classes towards the car wash. Yeah, so yeah. going going forward, we can start customizing the classes a little bit more for the car wash and the dialogues you'll have. But we just had to get to this point to start working with the verbs and understanding how to how to work with those. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Solo desea el exterior, exterior de tu carro, carro. So like we can we can go back in in our next class and just kind of recreate these. Yeah. Geared towards the different services that you might provide, and I actually I need to go back and look because I think I did that with Perla already. So. Oh, you did. That's awesome. Yeah, I I gotta go look to see. It's been it's been a while. Um, I do we. Perla and I are working together again, but it's oh, you are I, good. I gotta I can't remember exactly where. She's trying pretty hard. I think she's also like paying someone um, as well. So and she does seem to be doing better. Good. Um, which is good because we actually have to work on our check-in. Um she okay. all the time. And any of those, like if you have like it's good. Theoretically, right, is a as a business owner, you you should be creating like custom customer service scripts and stuff that like everybody sticks to. I don't know, you know, theoretically. <laughs> we're working on it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if you have stuff like that that you can send, you know, everything that I've done is just stuff that I've taken from working with Perla and, and taken from your website. Okay. But you know, like theoretically when you're training a new customer service a new cashier that's working like you would give them some type of script and then yeah, I actually have some stuff to send you if if you anything that you have like that send it to me because now that we're at this point we can start working on that in spanish and that's where it gets really powerful for you since you're specifically learning spanish to apply to your business mm -hmm. i can do that we have a bunch of that i just need to pull it up and update it it's not even that long. I mean, we have quick, quick conversations. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, you know, there you're not in a complex sale, right? You're you're hi, do you want a car wash? Yes or no? <laughs> you know, like it's it's pretty simple, but you know, if if you had like a, a script that, that you're training your people on on how to use, um, even better, you know. So bien, uh take turns asking each other these questions. No sé dónde uh, en Littleton, Inglewood, but I don't know where it's at. Oh, okay. You don't know what it's called? Nope, I know where it's at. 
Okay. I can drive there. That's it. So you could. Yeah, so good. No sé cómo se llama, pero está en Littleton. Okay. Para estar. No sé cómo se llama. No sé cómo se llama. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, ¿Qué ordenas en los restaurantes mexicanos? What do I order? Um, let's see. Ordena <laughs> quesadilla. <laughs> you want to say ordeno. 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 Okay. Ordeno. Uh, las quesadillas. Las. Yeah. La quesadilla. I'm trying to remember. Um, con queso. Yes. Con queso. Or cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, en los restaurantes. Restaurantes mexicanos. Oh, a bit, is it veces or veces? A veces. A veces tomas cerveza con la comida. Sí. Yo, would I just repeat? Because my brain wants to say drink, like bebo. You can I, say bebo, uh, okay. toma, but tomar is, is another verb. They're both the same thing. So yeah, to my brain takes tomar as to take, and I know it's also to drink, but to drink yeah. in my brain. Just, just so you know, um, in my personal experience, and I'm not exactly sure why this is, but the verb of choice is tomar, to talk really? about drinking. Uh, oh. My Spanish-speaking friends never use the verb beber, never. Wow, that's never. crazy. Um, I don't know if it's, and this is just a personal observation, um, the only time I hear the verb beber is when I go to a touristy area in Mexico, like Cancun or Puerto Vallarta, where they're assuming that I probably don't speak very much Spanish. Because for some reason here in the United States, the word that people get taught is beber. Yeah, that's weird. But when I'm in, just to let you know, like I'm part cute, like when I'm not in class, I'm speaking Spanish with people. I don't hang out with a lot of American people. So I, you know. No, I, I believe you. It's just crazy. <laughs> I took like six years of Spanish and they only, they always said Tomar was. I, I know, I know. And that's the way I learned it too. And so that's part of what I do is to try to give people more realistic conversations. And it's fine if you say beber, it's 100% fine. But I have interviewed hundreds of native Spanish speakers about this just out of my own curiosity. And it, so, you know, sometimes it kind of depends. You know, I've heard some people try to say, oh, we use beber for alcohol and tomar for anything else. And then I've heard that vice versa. But in all practicality, I lived in Argentina for a year. I, I do nothing but speak with Spanish speakers outside of my classes, and I never hear the word beber. The last time I heard beber was at a resort in Mexico. That's mm. crazy. I'm going to ask my sister then, because she's married to a Guatemalan, and my sister speaks, she teaches Spanish like you do. Yeah, ask, ask what the preference is, you know. My, yeah. my suspicion, um, because I, I lived in Spain when I was first learning how to speak Spanish, so I just wasn't proficient, but my proficient, my, my suspicion is that beber is used a little bit more in Spain and tomar is, is used a little bit more in Latin America. But. Well, I'm using tomar from now on. <laughs> it was, that was pretty exhaustive, like I'm convinced. I'm in. <sighs> okay, so tomo cerveza con la comida. Um, Emily, que bebes normalmente? And just so you know, like I'm introducing both of these to you just because we're also learning AR and ER verbs. Okay, so I was like. Just common okay. verbs to, to learn initially. Okay. What do you normally and, and don't, you know, don't get me wrong. It's 100% acceptable to use the verb beber, 100%. I, know, I just want to make sure my brain can accept that tomar is also to drink. Yeah, you need to, <laughs> you, and that's, that's why I kind of gave you that, that in-depth explanation about it, just because how you were saying kind of, I, I instantly want to go to bed. Yeah. Because, yeah. It could be my connection. Yeah, just short it out, no, I, can still, I can still hear you. You can, okay. Oh, um, so yeah, I think it might stable. be, I know I have to get Comcast. I have CenturyLink, it sucks. Um, bebo no, normalmente uh, el vino? Yes? Yeah, and I would probably put okay. normalmente at the beginning. Normalmente bebo vino. Oh, normalmente bebo vino. El vino or vino? Either way. It doesn't matter. Can you say whiskey in Spanish? 
también. Whiskey. Whiskey is whiskey. So yeah. Whiskey is whiskey. Is whiskey. It All burns, right. It burns in either way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Brandon, ¿prefieres tomar una margarita o un uh, cerveza? Oh, tomo una cerveza. <laughs> to, to, tomo una mar, mar, margarita. Gives me hyper. Uh, reserve, 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 reservas, reserve, is that right? Reservas. Yeah. Res, reservas. Res, reservas una mesa antes de llegar. ¿Qué significa antes de llegar? Yeah. It's like saying before arriving. Do you reserve a table before arriving to the restaurant? Oh, oh. before. Because huh. on, on days is before. Is that, is that right? On days means before. Do you ever play poker? Yes. What do you do yeah. before you play the game? You have the ante. You have the ante. Yeah. Yeah. That's, oh. that's what ante comes from. It's a Latin. Oh, wow. Word. That's crazy. It means before. It comes from Latin. Ante, that's insane. And now you know. I will not forget it now. Okay, that's <laughs> excellent. Uh, let's see. See, I studied. I studied Latin for two years too, That's so I'm, I'm really good at making those wow. connections. And I like playing poker too. So invite me to your next game. Heck yeah! Will <laughs> um, we'll surprise you, I'm sure. Uh, re, re, reservo. Sí, re, reservo una mesa antes de llegar. Muy bien. Uh, ¿Deseas comer comida mexicana hoy? Is, uh, is it hoy or oi? Oi. Oi. Okay. H's H's is general rule or silent in Spanish. What do you desire? And see. What is oi? Today. Now. Oh, like today's today. oi. Okay. And see. Oh. Hmm. See. 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 Como comida mexicana. Oi. Oi. All right. Uh, ordenas. La comida en español. <laughs> sí. 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 Ordeno la comida en español. ¿Te gusta el flan? Necesitamos practicar. <laughs> It's true. Just going to practice. Okay. Um, ¿Te gusta el flan? Oh, oh, oh psh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sí. Um, me, te gusta, me te gusta el flan. Sí, me gusta. Sí, oh, just sí, me gusta. Okay. No, no me gusta el flan. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, let's try and run through this super fast. Um, so I'm just going to read it to you. Okay. Mexico is el país ubicado al sur de los Estados Unidos. Según Wikipedia, hay más de 110 millones de personas en México. That's massive. El español de México tiene un acento fuerte. Ooh. Do Wait, you have, so, when you go there, do you have like an intense accent? Do you like really get into it? Uh, no, because okay. the Mexican dialect is not my strong point. Okay. Um, so what I just said here is Mexico is located to the south of the United States. According to Wikipedia, there are more than 110 million people in Mexico. And uh, the Spanish of Mexico has a very strong accent to it. La capital de Mexico se llama Ciudad de Mexico. También es conocida como el Distrito Federal o simplemente el DF. So the capital of Mexico is called the city of Mexico, which is also, or I guess we call it Mexico City, don't we? Um, it's also known as just the federal district or kind of how we say DC for short for Washington DC. You can also just say El DFA. Oh, that's cool. Es una ciudad, es una de las ciudades más antiguas de América del Norte. La población es de más de 21 millones de habitantes. La arquitectura tiene influencias indígenas, españolas y modernas. So mm. Mexico City, we're still talking about El Deafe. It's one of the oldest cities in North America. So to put that into perspective, um, it was a city way before Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1492, right? Because it was the, the capital of the Aztec empire. So it's thousands of years old, unlike any city in the United States, we're only talking a couple of hundred years old. So um, it has, the city itself has more than 20 mil, 21 million inhabitants. Uh, in, you know, Denver, it's half a million is a city and I think 2 million if you include the suburbs. So it's just massive. Um, the architecture has indigenous Spanish and modern influences. So pretty interesting. El epítome de la cultura mexicana puede ser otra ciudad importante, Guadalajara. 
So the epitome of the Mexican culture may be in another important city called Guadalajara. Uh, es famosa por la música mariachi y es donde fabrican el tequila. It's famous for mariachi music and it's where they make tequila as well. <laughs> I'm down. It's my favorite. I've been there a few times. It's great. Yeah, I want some French tequila. La Plaza de Armas es la plaza principal de Guadalajara y es el sitio de la Catedral y el Palacio de Gobierno. So the, the square of arms, plaza is a square. Um, that's the main town square in Guadalajara and it's where the cathedral and the government palace are both located. Huh. Plaza. Verdadero o falso, true or false. Brandon, Mexico está al norte de los Estados Unidos. Falso. El acento mexicano es fuerte. Uh, ¿Verdadero? La ciudad de México es muy pequeña. Um, no, falso. La arquitectura de México no es interesante. Falso. Guadalajara no es una ciudad importante. Uh, falso. Guadalajara es famosa por sus mariachis y tequila. Sí. Verdadero. Arriba. <laughs> I don't know if we can take Brandon anywhere. Yeah. Anyway, I'll keep it so, <laughs> a practicar next steps to practice um so you can go into quizlet and work on again first understanding the spanish words into english and then producing the words from english into spanish right so as i, I showed you with the flashcards you start by choosing the answer with english and then you change it to answer with spanish um you know, if you do that for like 10 minutes at a time over mm -hmm. the next couple of days, you know, it's not a whole lot. It's not a whole lot. Uh, you will you will have those words completely memorized and solid. So like, I like to, when I was studying Spanish, I did it with my meals. So when I woke up in the morning and had breakfast, I busted out some flashcards. When I had lunch, I busted out flashcards. And when I had dinner, I busted out my flashcards. And if I did that for like, you know, no more than two days at a time, I would, you, you can memorize hundreds of words like that at a time, right? Um, and it's so much more powerful to do it in 10 minute increments than to try and do it like once a week for an hour. So if you can do it a couple of times a day for a couple of days in a row, it just makes the, it just makes it so much more powerful, you know, and this is just, my effort to try to get you to think about studying smarter not harder you know don't don't okay. study hard your brain can only process stuff really intensely for about 20 minutes at a time that's just scientific fact some people maybe 30 minutes some people 15 it's a little bit different for for everybody but like if you ever get out of spanish class and you feel like you've just been at the gym it's because you're really exercising your brain pretty intensely so that's why i say 10 minute increments works out really well and if you do that for a couple of days and then you go into the language school app, um, it'll make the, doing the practice with those activities a whole lot easier. And like you just go through them really fast if you know what the, the words are. Um, so that would be, you know, my, my biggest piece of advice between now and next week. Don't do a whole lot. Just do small increments of time, you know, frequently. Yeah, that makes me feel good. That's all. That's what I've been doing this last week. I, I slept. I can on tell. like every day, 